Hello, Internet. Now, you downloaded your Anaconda installers. Mine is, for example, Windows. I'm sitting here on a laptop. I have Windows 10. And you unzipped it, you executed it, and you start it up. And then you see this screen. Your home screen, Anaconda Navigator. You have your home and the, all the applications that are pre-installed on your root directory. You will only have a root directory. And as you can see, we have here our Jupyter Notebook, we have here our Spider, our IDE, we have here some R Studio, we have some PyCharm Professional. But the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Environments. You will only have the root environment and you say Create. And you give the task specific name to this specific environment because remember we want to have a very specific environment with a minimal set of, of libraries within this so that we do not run into version problems. So I say at first um, test demo and then I have you have to choose between Python and R. I choose Python and depending on your main application why you create this environment for my virtual environment let's say you want to start a tensorflow application then you make have to check if the latest tensorflow version is compatible with python 3.10 or 3.9 now let's say it is only compatible with 3.9 so installing this environment you start with python version 3.9 that will be compatible with your main application the reason why you create this environment and this for example will be tensorflow as you can see i already have a different set of environments i have here a spark 3.2 for the latest spark version i have a pi spark environment for a spark 3.0 for the not so latest environment i have here some for tensorflow tensorflow version 2 x and then I have a particular um, test environment for topological research. There are some topological Python packages and libraries you can download and operate on. Now, as you can see, after 20 seconds or so, we have now here our test demo environment. And as you can see here, if you have here on installed, you see here all the different software packages and libraries that you installed. More or less, it is just Python, pip, some setup tools, the wheel. This is it. And now you can start in this particular environment to fill up the libraries, the software packages, whatever you need to run your main application. There are two ways to do this. Either you can go here and you can say, OK, I'm looking for, I don't know, all, and then you search for a, a particular topic. Let's say this would be pandas. And it will show you all the panda uh, packages available. You can see here you have a dusk geo pandas. You have some quite a lot of different panda sets have and say, where's my main panda set here? My main panda set would be here, pandas, standard. You can say apply and it will download the panda data set. Now, be careful. There are different channels where you get these packages. Like, imagine it like being from Audi or from Mercedes or being from Porsche. So you have to make sure that the channel you choose as your main source where to, you download all the packages that it is always coming from the same company because the steering wheel from Mercedes will not fit to the steering wheel of Audi. Therefore, what I would like to show you is a nicer, more precise version I always work with. So you go here to your environment, you click here on the red arrow, you say open terminal. And now suddenly you have a terminal open here and just give me a second because I have to put this that it is visible for you. Yes, this should do the trick. And then you just, just can say there are some basic commands, conda list, list all the packages I have. 
And as you see, as we all were familiar, we have these packages. But now, interestingly, you see the version, the explicit version, the build, and the channel. And all the, the source where I downloaded it is, is ContaForge. I like to work with ContaForge. It's my recommendation if you are in data analytics, if you're in data science, if you like to perform some machine learning, deep learning. All the ContaForge packages are very, very up to date. If something brand new comes out, it takes about a week or maybe two weeks. Data come up with their version, but all the packages have a very good compatibility if you get it from ContaForge. And there's another warning I would like to tell you. Of course, you know that you can pip, you can pip install your software packages, your dependencies, your libraries, whatsoever. Do not mix pip and different channels. Pip and Conda can work, yes, I know, but as a general rule, I try not to mix pip installed packages with Conda Forge installed packages. And if we're here, how you do it? Conda install, and then you can specify the channel and you say Conda Forge, and then let's do our pandas installation. You could now say pandas and give a version number. I don't know what the actual version is, 2.3 point whatever. But if you just say conda install channel conda forge panda, then it will look up the latest version and it will install the latest version for you. So now you, wait a second, I think I can make this a little bit bigger that we can see it. So now you have our conda list demo and here we have the package plan in test demo so we added panda data frame and a panda data frame 1.3.4 will be added it will be the build something and it will come from our channel conda forge that's great additionally this panda uh, package does need some other packages some dependencies and it will install all these new packages here because simply it needs it. And of course it will be from the Quanta Forge channel. So this is nice. We say yes, go ahead, install my packages, install my dependencies. And if everything is from Quanta Forge, I can tell you from my professional experience, they are very well uh, that they are from the same, that they are compatible with each other. So now we have this, so let's do now on the list again. And now we should see that we have some additional packages and we have our Panda here that we were looking for. So great. Now we have created an Conda environment. Within this environment, we downloaded the specific uh, Python packages, the Python libraries we need. And now let's say, I don't want to do a TensorFlow or a PyTorch installation. It's basically the same, but to be on the, on the simple side, we have now Pandas installed and we have one now created Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab. So what I do is just here, Jupyter Lab, and it will start up a directory. And to show you, uh, I have a password secured version whatever you choose, and you should come up with a Jupyter Lab. This Jupyter Lab uh, runs within your, your test demo environment. Let's maybe just shift it a little bit. Oops, come on, that you can see it better. And if you start, you see here, I have already a, a simple file, a Jupyter Notebook here, but let's start from the beginning. The beginning is you create a new notebook. So you just say, okay, here we go. The first cell, of course, you have to import pandas as PD, for example. And you execute this file and you say, hey, great, everything is in perfect order. It imported the panda. So we know that the package is now available for you. And this is more or less the way you do it. If you have all your commands and everything, you know, 
that you automatically have here at Jupyter Notebook. Just you can go here and save it or whatever command. You, you can save your notebook, save notebook as you download it. And if you are done, you just say log out, shut down, and the server will shut down. And this is it. You see, it is really easy to start up with your Jupyter Lab, your Jupyter Notebook environment. Remember, you have to create an environment that is task specific. Try to minimize the amount of packages you are downloading. Check the compatibility of the different versions that everything runs smoothly. I can tell you if you have, I don't know, 80, 90, 100 packages and one package with an update of one package can crush your whole environment. So try to operate with the minimum set. Do not overload your system. Be as specific. If it is necessary to update, be sure that you have maybe a backup copy of your environment before you start any update process, because I can tell you it can go horribly wrong and you start from all over again. This was it. If you're new to the business, I hope you will enjoy it. It is easy, it is fast, it is modular, it is completely free of charge to set up these things if you start working. So the only thing left for me to do, enjoy it, and I see you in the next video. Thank you.